SVR IAS Online Academy welcomes you to the Environment and Ecology Online Video Lectures. In this video, you will learn about bioaccumulation, bioconcentration, and biomagnification. This topic is very important for prelims examination. In mains, it may not be useful, but for prelims, it is a very important. How these three concepts differ how it works and in this video we will teach you what is bioaccumulation and what, how bioaccumulation differs from biomagnification and also from bioconcentration what is Minamata disease how methyl mercury responsible for Minamata disease where Minamata is a place where is located and so on it's a very interesting video so let's watch it Let's understand how to define bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation is nothing but increase in the concentration of substance in an organism or just a part of that organism. Here, bioaccumulation talks only about an individual organism, individual organism, whereas biomagnification talks about increase in the concentration of substance in the food chain so biomagnification means it talks about food chain and bioaccumulation talks about accumulation of substance only in a single or individual organism food chain may contain many organisms Let's discuss the concept of biomagnification. Biomagnification is also called as bioamplification. Bioamplification. It is nothing but increase in the concentration of the substance. Increase in the concentration of substance in the food chain. It is an important prelims word. Don't get confused in the prelims. In prelims, if you get the question, Comparing the bio magnification and bioaccumulation, one occurs in the individual organism, another one occurs in the food chain. Magnification occurs in the food chain. Example for the biomagnification are persistent organic pollutants, persistent organic pollutants that can biomagnify. In this image, it shows the food chain of the ocean or you can say marine food chain where contaminants reach from the producer to the consumers, primary, secondary, tertiary consumers. Whenever we pass from the producer to the next tro tropic level, the concentration of the substance increases. It is called as biomagnification. Biomagnification occurs in the food chain. It involves various organisms. Whereas, only within a single organism, substance accumulates over a period of time. It is called as bioaccumulation, which occurs in a single organism. When a substance can undergo biomagnification or bioaccumulation, if a substance is soluble in water means soluble in water means it cannot have the eligibility to become bioaccumulative or biomagnifying substance. If it is water soluble means kidney will eliminate the substance easily in the urine. To become a bioaccumulative substance or biomagnifying substance, normally the su substance should be fat soluble and it cannot be broken down or broken down into smaller products cannot be broken down into smaller products then only it will remain in the body for a longer period of time because fat soluble substance will be degraded slowly so they have the all the criteria to become a bioaccumulative or biomagnifying substance should not be water soluble and should be fat soluble cannot be broken down into smaller products how can we say that bioaccumulation occurs in an organism 
consider this as an environment within environment consider this as a species consider this as a species and consider this as a substances we can say the species or organism bioaccumulates substance means the concentration of the substance within the organism should be higher than environment so the amount of substance in the organism should be higher than the surrounding environment let's understand the concept of minamata disease how it occurred in japan minamata is a place in japan where because of the industrialization mercury is released into the atmosphere mercury is released into the water mercury reaches the water bodies and taken by the small organisms like small fishes within the body of small fishes mercury is converted into methyl mercury methyl mercury methyl mercury can stay in the body for longer period of time and deposited in the tissues when as a human beings eat these fishes mercury got accumulated in the human's body when we japanese ate the small fishes and over a period of time because of the mercury accumulation a disease is developed is called as minamata disease minamata disease the people living around the minamata is a place got affected because of the disease that's why the disease got the name minamata disease in this image you can understand the difference between bio accumulation and bio magnification bio accumulation is nothing but increase in the concentration of pollutant in an organism so you can see say this organism within this concentration of pollutants occurs because of the bio accumulation here you can see the bio magnification concept bio magnification involves food chain so increase in the concentration of pollutant in a food chain it involves many organisms now let's discuss about the criteria needed for bio accumulation and bio magnification the pollutant must be long lived one if it is short lived it will be degraded easily so the pollutant should be a long lived one the pollutant must be mobile in nature it means if it is not mobile it will stay in the only one place so pollutant will not be taken by subsequent organisms so pollutant must be long lived mobile soluble in fats and if it is soluble in water it will be excreted by the kidney and fourth pollutant should be biologically active biologically active now let's compare the concepts of bio magnification bio accumulation and bio concentration first let's discuss what is bio concentration like bio accumulation bio concentration also occurs in the single organism occurs in the single organism but bio concentration is a more specific term it means in the bio concentration accumulation of the substance comes only from water only from water whereas bio accumulation is a broader term it indicates that substance comes from all the sources to the particular organism for example take one organism the same organism here also here the only source for substance is water for the bio concentration but in bio accumulation the same substance comes from water air land and extra so bio accumulation is a broader term compared to bio concentration but bio concentration and bio accumulation occurs only within an organism 
whereas biomagnification occurs in the food chain. That's all about bioconcentration, bioaccumulation and biomagnification concept. Download the PDF for revision purpose and it's an important topic for the prelims examination. So prepare well.